Hi guys, welcome to this video. In last video, I compiled the part of my firmware with a cloud watch machine. It's very simple to compile if you have some Linux knowledge. Please check that one first if you don't know how to get the firmware. But I'm not sure if the firmware works or not, so in this video, I'll try to flash it on my Wi Fi router 4. Let's see if it really works. You know, we need to flash the Padawan firmware from the command line interface. We need to do that with mtd command. But the command line interface is locked by default. So I'll try to unlock it with this OpenWT Invasion script again. I have done this job many times before, and it worked very well. Just download the script, connect to the router, and run the script with Python. The script will ask you for a token to get authorized to make the change. Uh, you will find the token from the administration web console and give the token to the script. After a few seconds, we can access the command line interface. Before installing Padawan, we need to download the Padawan firmware to the TMP directory. I have downloaded the Padawan firmware to my laptop. I share it from my laptop with the Python simple HTTP server function. And run the wget command on the router to download it. The flash storage on my Wi-Fi router 4 is 128MB. That is much larger than my Wi-Fi router 4A and 4C. 4A and 4C only have 16MB. But sometimes, larger flash storage doesn't mean it's better. As you may know, different routers have different partition layouts. For the 4C router and 4A router, they only have 16MB. You can't have lots of partitions on such a small flash storage. The partition layout is very simple. We just flash part 1 into OS1 partition, and that's it. But for this Mi Wi-Fi router 4, the flash storage is 128MB. There are many partitions like kernel 0, kernel 1, root file system partitions, etc. That makes it difficult to flash the firmware. And we should flash the Padawan firmware into the kernel 1 partition, because the operating system boots from the kernel partition. If you look at the partition table, you see the size of the kernel 1 partition is actually 4194304 bytes. That's around only 4 megabytes. But the Padawan firmware is much larger than 4 megabytes. We can't flash the entire image into kernel 1. So we pick up the first 4194304 bytes, put it into an image, and flash the image into kernel 1 partition. We put the rest of bytes or data into another image and write it into the next partition. So then the operating system will be loaded continuously. And we split the part 1 image with the dd command. Maybe dd is short for data duplicator. We can also run dd command from the stock firmware because the stock firmware is based on Linux as well. It's very handy for managing images. To run the command, we just specify the input source here, which is the original Padawa firmware. Set up block size, which is the size of the kernel 1 partition. We need only one block and output it to the kernel 1 image. It's not that difficult to understand, right? We just specify the input output block size and count, and that's it. We get the first image. In the next command, we also specify the input source. We skip the first 4194304 bytes and save it into a rootfs image. Okay, now we have the two images. We run mtd command to flash them into partitions. And we also need to set up the environment variable to make it boot from the kernel 1 partition. 
because by default, the root boosts from either kernel 0 or kernel 1 partition. We just make sure it boosts from kernel 1 forever by issuing these nvramp commands. Ok, so far the part 1 firmware has been installed. Let's reboot and see how it goes. A few moments later. Ok, we are getting an IP address from the router. I have a positive feeling this firmware should work. And let's try to log in the web console. It really works. It looks not bad, right? Alright, that is all for this video. As you can see, it's a little difficult to deal with the partitions, right? There are multiple partitions on this 128MB flash storage. We need to figure out the size of the kernel partition. We need to sort out the boot sequence. It's just not that easy to memorize everything. Actually, lots of Mi Wi Fi routers ship with such kind of partition layout, like AC2100, Mi Wi Fi Router 3, and 3G. Looks like it's a standard for the 128MB flash. 128 sounds not bad, but in fact, it doesn't help at all. It only makes life harder. I'd rather to have only 16MB. At least we don't need to configure both sequence for the 16MB. So, what do you think? Please leave a comment below. If you like the video, remember to give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye bye.